wait, this doesn't look like y equals mx plus b form. Okay, we're used to being asked for slopes when we have an equation in y equals mx plus b form, but we don't have that here. We've got 3x plus 3y equals 3. So let's rearrange this a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing to both sides here. I'm going to subtract 3x. Okay, and those, of course, will then cancel out on this side. And we're left, if I rewrite this a little bit, 3y equals, I'm going to move this to the front, negative 3x plus 3. You can see this is starting to get closer. Now we're just going to divide everything by 3. And if I do that, y equals negative 1x plus 1. Now we've got the equation in y equals mx plus b form, and the perpendicular is equal to the negative inverse, negative 1 over m. So in this case, it's negative 1 over our slope, this guy here, negative 1 over negative 1, which is just equal to a value of 1. So the slope of our perpendicular is 1. 